six weeks from right now, we'll be sitting here together going over who won. How about that? Right. Yes. Yay. Here's to the end of the race. It's coming. And Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are locked in a neck and neck race right now, according to polls released just ahead of last night's big showdown. The latest Quinnipiac University poll shows Mrs. Clinton with a one point advantage over Trump. Her lead widens to four points in Monmouth University's poll, down from, I think, seven in that one. I'm not sure. Uh, down from seven, yep. With a Bloomberg's politics poll putting Mr. Trump ahead by two points. Meanwhile, history suggests a winning first debate performance isn't necessarily a sign of things to come. Two of the past three losing presidential candidates saw a bump in the polls after their first debate, but ultimately went on to lose in November. Joining me now, Larry Sabato, founder and director of the University of Virginia's Center for Politics. Larry, great to see you. So, Good evening, Megan. Okay, so is there anything we need to know about that? The fact that uh, you've got John Kerry, who erased a seven percentage point deficit with a great first debate, uh, lost the election by two and a half points. Mitt Romney erased a four percentage point deficit, lost the election by about four points. Well, two points. Uh, there's a there's a reason why we have three debates. You know, this we just had part one. We've got part two and part three. I leave aside the vice presidential debate for the moment. So the storyline can change and the candidates can improve their performance or deteriorate depending on on uh, what they have learned from the first debate. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, Megan, that I think is is very, very important. There are fundamentals in any election that probably matter more than the debate. Uh, the thing that helps Donald Trump the most and has helped him all year long is he's the change agent. Mm -hmm. We've had two terms of one party, and in modern times, we like to switch parties after eight years. That's what, in part, has propelled Trump forward. Notice how much he tried to make Hillary Clinton the status quo candidate. She fought back trying to make the issue Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And we'll see in the next two debates. Let me ask you, because you're a numbers guy, too. Uh, what did you make of David Pluff's analysis on Pennsylvania? I mean, he, he just thinks that that is an impossibility for Donald Trump. I, I never say anything's impossible. I'm a lot older than David Pluff. That's why I never say anything's impossible. Uh, and a hundred percent chance of Hillary Clinton's elected, you know, God bless him. I, I wouldn't want to uh, risk all my uh, savings on one particular election result. Look, is Pennsylvania tough for Republicans? Of course. They haven't carried it since 1988. Anybody I know, but it's within that. a point. I mean, that's what's incredible. Yeah, well, that's one poll. That's one poll. The polling averages are about three. But look, it can change overnight. I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying it's tough. I certainly wouldn't say it's impossible. Hmm. Larry, a pleasure to be continued. Thank you, Megan.